what's going on guys and welcome to my first episode here on Diamond Dynasty and Loki your boy's been addicted over the last couple days now there's been multiple times that I've attempted to try to start playing this game and opening up packs and never got anything and I was like fuck it I'm not playing it well the last couple days I've been grinding. I'm actually starting to understand the collections and how the game works a little bit more, and I'm fucking hooked. Now, your boy's been grinding, dude. Not as much as some of you guys watching this video, but as you guys can see right now, I'm doing conquest mode, and you can see that I've taken over the entire western coastline. Gotta knock out the Padres, and then I'm gonna move myself east. Now, this is actually the second time I've attempted to do this. The first time, I kind of went east, then I went west, then the fucking Astros took over the entire board, and I had to start over. But I'm grinding innings right now to try to get the Conquering Command version of Ichiro Suzuki. I've got to play 700 innings with the Mariner players. Now I'm also grinding Prince Fielder. I've got to play 1,150 innings. As you guys can see, I've played 218 so far. And I also want to go ahead and knock out the Dodgers for Adrian Beltran. Now, by no means do I know anything about what I'm doing right now, but I went through my collections and I realized after all those failed attempt pack openings, I had a lot of the cards to go ahead and knock out some of these sets. So instead of opening up packs, I went ahead, I got $100 worth of stubs, and I was actually able to complete one of these sets. Yeah, you already see them, bro. 97 overall, 2011 edition of Matt Kemp. We got him, bro. Check out his power. Check out his contact. He's got amazing speed, great arm, good fielding. Vision is F, but I've been playing with him in solo so far, and he's been amazing. Now, doing that set, I winded up getting Clayton Kershaw, 99 overall. We got Nolan Arondo right there, 96 overall. He's got boosted down to a 93. And then we also got Madison Bumgarner, Buster Posey, and a bunch of other diamonds. Now, if you guys are excited to see Diamond Dynasty on this channel a couple days a week, be sure to smack a like on the button. As soon as I finish Command & Conquer, I'm going to start uploading daily online gameplay with the team that we have. I'm going to keep doing collections as well. There's a lot of, like, random rookie flashback packs that are in the game that you can go ahead and pull that are worth a ton of stubs. Now, I still feel like a rookie, but I feel a lot more knowledgeable than I did when I went into pack openings earlier on in the year. I'll tell you what, dude, it's been a lot of fun over the last couple days. If you guys have any suggestions on what sets, what guys I should grind for for innings, let me know down below. I already told you the three that I'm really looking at. I'm trying to knock out sets to go ahead and get Barry Bond slash Reggie Stalker. I should be able to get them pretty soon, but I don't know how long it's going to take. I figured, hey, let's bust it out. 40 standard packs. See if we can get lucky and pull ourselves a diamond. I'm looking for that rookie flashback of Troy Tolowitzki, bro. If you can get him and finish the discovery missions on him, he turns into a 99 overall. He's probably the best card in the game. And while I continue to grind Conquer, I'm thinking about doing Battle Royale. Now, you guys know I'm not that good at MLB, but I feel like I can compete. I'm getting better every day. I'm playing the solos on all-star difficulty, and I'm winning with ease. So maybe who knows? But I know a lot of you guys play this game mode and you constantly are asking me to jump on it. So here I am, boys. We're here to fucking stay now. MLB Diamond Dynasty, you better watch out because the Toke Squad's coming. Now, I can make basically an all-diamond team with the cards that I have put into sets. But I'm trying to build it up and get that Prince Fielder and other collection rewards. So I'm using like a half Brewers, half Dodgers half mariners team now, if you guys don't play this game and you're kind of like what the fuck are you talking about Toke? gold cards are really good they're rare legend cards are extremely rare there's flashback cards like 99 alex rodriguez there's a bunch of cards and this year in diamond dynasty they're actually updating the cards every friday to give you guys more variety of what cards you can add to your team so if we can get a gold or a diamond that's gonna be a fire pull man gold sell for a decent amount some of these silvers for a good amount as well i'm fully committed though i'm jumping into it man we're gonna drive we're gonna try to get jackie robinson over time as you guys can see we're gonna get our first gold card right here and it's gonna actually be john carlo stanton 87 overall he was a diamond they actually moved him down to a gold card i'm sure he'll be back up at a diamond any month now right, we're gonna go ahead and put him in there that's a key card 
for the Marlin set. Definitely a fire pull, man. Definitely want to know what you guys want me to do as far as collections. I'm grinding innings. I'm going to keep grinding innings. And I'm having a ton of fun. Now, I really want to make myself a team logo. I was thinking about doing a Florida State away and home uniforms. Not too sure, though. I'm not very artistic, so when it comes to designing something, they all look like shit. So if you guys have any recommendations or have any made items in the logo of Vault that you want me to use, man, please tweet me on Twitter. Let me know. I'd love to check it out, man. And packs in. We already got a John Carlo standing. Shit. Let that Troy T bust out one time. Let him bust out one time. I know you guys are excited for this, man. You guys are going to smack the shit out of the like button because you want me to upload it. And I'm finally actually understanding the game, and I'm ready to upload it. No more fucking around, boy. You better give these boys a diamond pull. You better hook me up with a diamond real quick. Going to get Prince Fielder right there. Trevor Story, who started off amazing, down to a 78 overall. I'll tell you what, though. 97 overall, Matt Kemp. As soon as I saw him when I got on the game, I asked my boy, I was like, how do you get him? Boom, boom, boom. We got him. Had to pick up the 97 overall Dodger. And in the process, we got Clayton Kershaw as well. On to the next pack we go. Still looking for our first diamond pull. Now, I have pulled diamonds before, but they were never on camera. Of course. Now, these bronze and silvers might not sell for a lot, but they're helping me do collections, and I'm okay with that. The less cards I have to buy, the better. We got 56,000 stubs. I don't know if I should use those for collections or what cards I should go after. I'm basically going to go off your guys' opinions in the comments section on who the OP cards are, who's a must-have, who's a not-must-have. Prince Fielder, Ichiro, from what everyone's telling me, are the fucking shit. So we're definitely going to be looking to get them onto the next pack. No gold in sight. Now, it might take me a couple days to grind to get Prince Fielder and Ichiro, but bro, when I say I've been addicted to grinding this game, I've been addicted, bro. It shouldn't take very long for me to get those cards. Now, to get Reggie Stalker, we actually have to finish two more collections, and that will actually finish the entire NL division. Those guys are going to be 95 Chipper Jones, who we'll get. We'll also get 98 Johnny Bench, one of the best catchers in the game, and every card for that division we'll have on the team we won't be able to sell so we can put them in the lineup now from what i've been looking at it seems like standard packs are the way to go to try to get cards especially some of these flashbacks that are in the game they used to only be available through battle royale but from what i'm seeing now you can actually throw them and pull them through packs now like i said i don't really know a lot i'm learning hour by hour day by day more and more about the collections and stuff i'm starting to get a good idea of what i want to do how i want to do it it's just going to take time going through the conquer mode now any and all tips for conquer mode sets and everything guys please don't hesitate to tweet me on twitter and let me know dude i'm super excited to start uploading daily mlb diamond dynasty along with road to the show and all the other games that we play right there will harris 88 overall gold card closing pitcher i'll take it but for real, 97 overall, Matt Kemp is definitely not a disappointment. He's got the 80 speed, amazing power, covers a ton of field in center field. And ever since I picked him up, we've been winning every game. Final pack of our first official pack opening. If you guys want me to pick up the brand new packs that they put in the game on Friday, be sure to drop a like on this video. I will definitely buy a shitload of them, upload it, and keep you guys up to date on where we're going with the team. Probably won't upload another Diamond Dynasty video until I finish Conquest mode, but the way I've been playing, it should only take about a day or two. Also, let me know about a logo. If you guys can help me out with that, greatly appreciated. Let me know a color scheme as well for the uniforms. Till then, I'm signing out. Peace.